And so, Blaise Campari now decided to introduce Mr. Taylor to Blaise Campari. And after the introduction, Blaise Campari bought the idea. But Thomas Sankara was not in favor. And we didn't know that. We were not told why we were in Côte d'Ivoire that Blaise Campari, that Thomas Sankara were not in favor. We were not told. We didn't know. So a series of visits were made by Mr. Taylor to uh, 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 Wakadugu, and the end result was, okay, you can come. So they flew us in one uh, group by group, and we all gathered in Wakadugu. When we got in Wakadugu, when my group got there, my group was a fourth, fourth, fifth group. There were other guys there already. When we got there, we were told that we were going to be arrested in a few hours if we did not comply to remove Sankara from office. That Sankara was not in favor of any evasion. He was not interested. And that he would arrest all the Liberians and send them back to Liberia. And that caused panic. So the group, because Sankara was the president, Blaise Campari was the deputy head of state and commander of the poor of the poor, uh, uh, of the poor barracks. The poor barracks consisted of the commando units that provided security for the mansion. So you see how it was very easy for Sankara to be removed. So the group that was in the barracks with the commandos, the Liberian group, were requested or ordered to join the, the group of uh, Burkina Bay's commando units to remove Thomas Sankara and uh, to pay way for us to stay in Burkina Faso, to go into Libya, to come out of Burkina uh, to come out of Libya to back to uh, Wagadugu. So that was how Thomas Sankara was removed. And we got to Libya. 